Aloha. Let's talk about data merge in InDesign. Adobe InDesign. Um, in, uh, data merging is mainly used for form letters, uh, mailing labels, and other lame stuff, but it has a lot of other uses if you're creative. For example, I once used it to make um, cards for a game board. Anyway, right now we're going to pretend like I'm throwing a fancy party where everyone gets a place card and all of the attendees are fictional characters. That's a lot like the actual parties I go to in that no one comes. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is open a spreadsheet program. I'm using OpenOffice. You could use Excel. Uh, and the first row up here is the titles of the columns. You can have as many as you want. I just have two so that this doesn't take forever. Um, the at sign in front of photo here is important because it shows that you can have paths here to the photo. Um, some programs might give you an error message for having that at sign there. Just type in apostrophe in front of it. That's not an apostrophe. That's not an apostrophe. There it is. Apostrophe in front of it and that should clear it up for you. But anyway, now you want to save this as a CSV file. Opa, text CSV. I have no idea what that stands for. I'm just going to save it as place cards. Save. Keep current format. Whatever. Don't care. Um, it's not illegal. InDesign. Now we're going to, I'm going to, make my place card. I'm just going to make one because as you'll see later, you can make it so that, come on, scroll up here. You can make it so that it does crazy things like making more of itself. Um, and now we'll go up to window, utilities. Data merge. This thingy. That. Click on select data source. And we will. Yeah, my computer has a racist name. MC desktop. Do to do. Okay, I should probably have checked where I saved that too. There it is. Placecards.csv open. And there it is. The titles right here of the columns that you made. So you can put the name in by clicking name and you can format that however you like. I'm gonna make it awesome. Literally. <laughs> okay. I'm cool. 48 point. Make it centered. Um, thanks for coming! Exclamation point. I should never organize a party. Blah blah. I don't actually... You can mess with this. This photo might not actually end up tiny if you make the box tiny, but I'm just gonna make it bigger to be safe. There are some content placement business in here if you wanna mess with that, but I don't care. So now, let's, let's create the merge document. Um, we want there to be multiple records per page, which means that we should edit the multiple le record layout. I don't want any space between them. Um, if you arrange by rows first, then the data that you have will go... If you have, like, a lot of um, boxes, the data that you have will go here, 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 here. If you have columns first, it'll go down. Yeah, you can. You could have figured that out on your own. You're smart. Um, hmm. So, turned out that um, the CSV file needs to be in the same spot as your images if you're going to have images. So, the way that you fix that is I moved it 
change the data stores. Um, yeah, all this business. Now, if you preview it, that should show up. And all this stuff I already did. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Preview. Look, things happen. You can look at the next page. Ah, whoa. And obviously, if you have, like, real images that you just didn't just, like, steal from the internet and beg to get sued for, then they'll be the right size. And all this wacky, crazy, awesome business. You can press OK. It'll tell you if anything bad happened um, while it was merging. And that, that, there you go. You are set. You lucky dog.